we use um, on the horses so I thought cool we'll let you guys in on the tack room and um, we'll show you what we do um, so Kate we're gonna go around to the bridle and can you go up she's like oh no the technology does not allow she's settling around yeah but we want to show all the ribbons I want to sh I want to don't she shake your head at me she's like oh no I think you got to undo something else yeah, that, I don't think that, ah, there we go. We got the videos, the, the, the thing images, the ribbons, that's what they're called. Cool. Okay, now you can get me again. <gasps> Hi. All right, I'm moving, I'm moving. This is like pure high tech video coming. Good work, Kate, good work. <laughs> okay, I just want to show you my ribbons. They're like my first ribbons I ever got on my first pony. Um, well, he wasn't a pony, 15 hands. What do you call that? Pony horse. Um, and he was an Arab cross, a chestnut Arab cross that wouldn't jump ever and made me cry a lot. So I became a dressage rider and now I ride black horses and I actually have a bit of a thing around chestnut horses. But I'm sure that's got nothing to do with good old Tyson. Um, but anyway, back to the question. You're like, come on, Tash, get the question. So the first question was, what bits do we use? So the bits we have on the bridles is, guys, I don't know technical names, okay? So I'm sorry, I, this might be called a double jointed snaffle but I don't think it is so don't like do your C certificate off me. It's a snaffle and there's a thing in the middle that like is like connects them yeah? <laughs> Kate's laughing at me. Um, and yeah we like it because it's soft and it doesn't so it's not as harsh as something like this which is your normal snaffle. Loose ring snaffle I guess because it's loose. Um, so yeah I like these ones better because they have a bit more of a of a, you see how they're a bit nicer in the horse's mouth, they can curve more, whereas this is quite fixed. It can do this, or it can do this, it's like a cracker jack action, whereas this can do, oh, hello, hello, all the stallions were bred today, so they're a bit excited. Um, this is a lot nicer and easier. Um, so they're the bits that we use on the horses. Um, even Ar This is Arbor's bridle, so he's just in a snaffle all the time. The only time he's in a double, which is, this is his double, is um, when he's competing, because you have to, when you ride FER, or I think it, up to advanced, at advanced, you have to start being in a double. So he's got, he doesn't have a loose ring, like a double joint thing, I think is what you call it, it's just normal. And then the curb, and that's, we've got to use the curb chain on that, and we don't have a chain guard on it, because he doesn't need it. Um, what else have we got? Yep, so there's another one of our, uh, oh, the, the gold. So this is like a Springer bit, I think, um, but I think that's the brand. So I think the type of silver it is, it's like German silver. It's really weird because you've got German silver and it's not silver, it's gold. And you know, I, I like gold things and <laughs> cool things, so um, I like the colour. Um, but it's, I think it's meant to help them salivate. I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know why I do what I do. It just works, so I do it, if that helps. Um, I think that's it. That's all the all the, all the bridles are the same. So, um, yeah, no fans, wasn't it? No fans. So, all the horses, if they're in a snaffle, have guys again. I don't know. It's not a flash. Do you know? No. I think it's called like a Hanoverian noseband. I think is what you call it. There's two parts. So you've got your normal noseband and then you've got a thing to do up um, around the nose. Like, I know a lot of people don't like this and um, I think it's the School of Lightness. They don't have those kinds of nosebands. They take it off. So it's only that part of the noseband that they've got. Um, but... Horses can get really strong when they open their mouth. So um, if one of my stallions wants to evade the bit, all he has to do is open his mouth and take the bit, like actually take it in his mouth and go. And I'm like, hey, I weigh like 50 kilos and I can't stop you. So um, this just helps me um, make sure that he can't evade the bit. It's not in effect. If the horse has his mouth shut, 
it's not doing anything because there's no pressure being put on. Only if the horse goes to open his mouth is when it's going to say, hey, I need you to keep that shut. So most of the time, and people say, oh, but the horse can't chew the bit, the horse can't salivate. If you ever watch Arbor do a dressage test or see Arbor like, or Zeus, any of our Frisians have white foam pouring off them. It's disgusting. Like they canter and then like, if they, they, you know, it keeps coming off and then it goes in your face. It's really not cool. Um, so I haven't found that. So I like to keep it, their mouth closed with that. Obviously in a double you can't have the doobie thing so they're just on a normal nose band. Um, I don't use drop nose bands because I don't have experience with it and I'm sure if I was at a stable and where I did my learning if they use drop nose bands that's what I'd use but this is what I've always used. So yeah, I think that's it. So have a super super week. Trust that helped and um, if you have a question remember to go on www.ebonyparkstud.com.au Getting this website right. Um, yeah and fill out EPTV and we're happy to help. Okay.